Here at Braille Physical Therapy, we want to get the best outcome possible, not only here, but when you go home. So we've created this video so that we can go home with you. In this video, we're going to cover three parts of low back pain. The acute phase, which is that first 72 hours, which is very critical that you do the right thing at the right time to get the best results. We're going to go into the subacute phase, which is up to about three weeks, where you start to restore your function in the body, start to get the tissues pliable in both directions, and then dealing with the chronic pain, which is both stretching what's tight and stabilizing your spine. We're going to make you feel better, and you're going to be able to do it yourself at home. Remember, if you're in excruciating pain, don't be silly. Call 911. If you have a question about the exercises or the techniques, please call us. We want you to feel your best every day. So we really want to get in there and make a change and influence people and see that they can do something very simple and really get the recovery that they deserve. We're going to start you off with something we call just prone lying, okay? And that's on your stomach. So go ahead and you're just going to lie prone and you're going to press up onto your elbows. Good. My elbows? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And just relax onto your elbows a little bit okay. so that you're, yeah. And there, is your back pretty relaxed there? Yeah. Good. And then what I want you to do is I want you to just hold that position but breathe nice and deeply. And what that does is it expands your diaphragm and the diaphragm connects right into the back muscles that are getting so inflamed. And so this is going to help get some movement in there and keep them moving so that they don't get too tight. And so what I want you to do is you just hold this for six seconds. And we've been talking, so we probably already used up six seconds already. So you can just go back down to the bed and just lie face down. Good. And take a break for a second. And get one nice deep breath in there in between, OK? Great. And then as you've finished that breath, go ahead and press up again. Good. And just up to your elbows, such that you're relaxed. And then take another nice deep breath in. And we count that one and two, and you just keep breathing, and three, and four, and five, and six. We want to hold each one for six seconds, okay? Okay. And then come back down to the table. The next one's sort of like the first one, but it's more of a press up. You're going to press up higher, and you're going to use your whole arms. You're going to press up as high as you can, and we're going to go through a pumping action. Instead of holding at the top, you're just going to go up and down, okay. and you're going to go as high as is comfortable for you. And what this does is it kind of squeezes the area that's getting inflamed and kind of pushes some of the swelling out of the area, okay? okay. So go ahead and press up right now. Just press up as high as you can until you feel some tightness here. You yeah. don't want to go into pain and then come right back down again. Don't have to stay up there and then press up again. Same height, beautiful, and come right back down. You're doing this great. And again, you don't want to work too hard in the back here and you don't want to work too hard in the glutes. And every time you do this, you could do this once or twice a day, depending on your comfort level. I don't want you bending, lifting, twisting, or slouching. Okay. So BLTS. That's a no good BLTs. one to remember. No All BLTs. Right. Okay. To do this, I just want your feet slightly apart. Good, perfect. Yes, and then put your hands right behind your waistband like that, okay? And then I want you to arch back and kind of drop your chin so that you're pressing into your back. Now you okay. feel like this is sort of like that prone press up we just did. Now come yeah. back forward, go back, press forward into the waistband and hold it, hold it, hold it, and come back up, okay? And again. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is just get a little more mobility in your back. We're going to stretch out a little bit of those back tissues, all right? So I want you to pull this knee up, good, and you can grab your hands around the front of the knee and straighten this knee away, good. And then you just pull this knee up as high as it's comfortable to go. If you feel any pain in your back, I want you to back off. And then just hold this for a couple of seconds, two, three, and then let go and switch legs. Bring the other leg up and hold, two three, and then down, and then I want you to bring both legs up, one and two, and grab both and pull them both to your chest, and as long as that's comfortable, yeah. hold for three, through three, and then down. Okay. Great. And so that's just like a little thing. I want you to go through that again. So you're going to do one leg, then you're going to do the other leg, and then you're going to do both. So one, two, three, bring the other in, and one, two, three, and down, and then bring both up, 
and one, two, three. Okay, bring up your right leg again. Great, and this time you're gonna press against it. And at the same time, you're gonna pull your navel down towards the table or towards the bed, whatever you're lying on, and give a little resistance here so that you're really pressing and a little working. And if I put my hand here, I'll feel you working and I can feel that right there. Good, okay. and then you hold that for three. Let's switch legs. Bring this one down, bring the other one up, same thing. Pull in here, good, I feel you working and a little pressure there. And then we just hold it for three, like we did with the others. Okay. And then bring that down, good. And then we're gonna bring both legs up, okay? Good, and then press and hold right there. Good, and that's good. And bring that down. What you're going to do for this one is you're going to reach your arms and legs out long. Some people like to call this a swimming exercise. We call it a crossed extension. So first you're going to reach your right arm up in the air, but keep reaching as long as you can. At the same time you're pulling your navel in, lifting it towards your back, okay? And then you're going to lift your opposite leg, still reaching long away from you. Good. And hold, and hold, and hold. And arm and leg come down. Perfect. Okay, so let's try the other side. So just try this for me. Bend this in, elbow, perfect. And then go ahead and pull your navel in, good. And then lift the arm and leg, reaching long like that. Good, and hold, and hold, and then down. Good, and you wanna hold each one for a count of three. We're gonna finish with press ups just like we did for the acute phase. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna press all the way up as high as you can comfortably go for your back today. Go up until you feel some compression right down here. Good, and then you're gonna press up and down. Good, and make sure you're not grabbing in the glutes either. All right, so I'm gonna have you just pull in your knee to your chest a little bit there, good. And then you're gonna grab behind your knee and we're gonna just stretch out your hamstrings, which are pretty good length. And you can just pull your toes towards your nose. You're gonna hold that maybe three seconds okay. and then let that relax. Okay, let's do this one, pull in. And this is a great way to get that sciatic nerve just elongated right down all the way to your foot. And let that release, good. And then do the other side again. And if you wanna give it a little bit more of a challenge because you're pretty flexible, Put this leg out straight while you do that, okay? And pull the toes back as much as you can. Great, and you should feel that in your calf I and do, down yeah. into here. Cool. Yeah. And then bring the pressure off of that and bring this one up first if you're still feeling you know, tender. And just holding about three seconds. We like, not long stretches, just intermittent. Pressure on, pressure off. Tissues respond beautifully to that. So what I'm gonna have you do is bring your arms out to a T and you're gonna bring your knees up to your chest, and you can do these right on your bed at home. Just bring your knees up and drop them to one side. Take a deep breath in so you get that diaphragm, which has interlocking into your low back to release, and then drop them to the other side and hold that one, two, three, and let it release. And we're gonna do three times each side, okay? Breathing in, let it release. Good, breathe in, let the breath out. We're gonna go into the belly blaster, which you've done in the mm -hmm, other program. Right. Just to activate those muscles, you're gonna pull your navel in towards your spine, pressing against that leg. Good. And let's switch and do the other side. You're gonna hold that about three seconds. If you pull your toes up towards your nose, you get a little bit more activation here in your abdominals. Good. And let that release. Good. Now <laughs> yes. do both legs. Good. And if you bring the knees a little bit apart, because we want to make it more like functional, like the same width that you walk with, it, those uh, muscles. Okay are learning to engage in that position. So you can bring your 
your arms up in the air. All right, and what I'm gonna have you do is you can straighten up your legs a little bit. If you feel like your hamstrings are too tight, you can keep a little bend in them. Okay. You can just alternate the legs coming away from the middle of your body. So it gives these muscles a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, so you just take you it feel what it. feels comfortable, again, avoiding any kind of pain, okay? okay? And then you're gonna add the arms. And when your arms come up, your stomach muscles have to stabilize here. Right. So it gets kind of more functional if you're reaching and doing things. We like to strengthen the abdominals in a way that you use your body functionally. Okay. You know, sit-ups are going to put a lot of stress in your low back, maybe too much flexion force for you. So yeah. this is a way to keep your abdominals strong, but not putting that pressure on your low back. You're going to bring out one leg straight out behind you, trying to keep the pelvis level, so you don't want to let that sag. And if you can, take the opposite arm. So it's like the cross extension you were doing in the subacute phase, but it's a little bit more challenging in this position. Beautiful. Okay, come in and let's do the other side. We'll just hold three. Again, pull that navel in towards your spine. Try to keep yourself stable there. Beautiful. And we just, you know, had finished working the, keep going. We're gonna do three seconds each side. We had just finished working all those abdominal exercises, and now we're gonna work on strengthening the back and the gluteal muscles. Good, try not to let the back sag. Keep that pulled in. Okay, we wanna really activate your glutes and your back muscles up here. One more each side. Good, hold that steady. So I'm gonna have you just sit back down into what we call the child pose, it's a yoga position actually, and just stretch and feel your low back getting a nice stretch through there. And you just take a deep belly breath in, and then come out of that. And then you're going to go back into your press-up positions. How are we feeling with that? Yep, mm -hmm. yep, just go right into that. And you're going to push up on your arms. Good. It's called the press-up, not a push-up. This is something we do for every patient at Braille Physical Therapy is to teach them how to sit at their desk where they're not hurting their back. First thing is we want their feet flat on the ground with their knees slightly parted and we want their knees to be a little bit lower than their hips. We would like to put a lumbar roll in their low back to give them support, especially when their spine is in acute phase and healing. And also for the chronic back patient, it just helps their muscles to relax while keeping that curvature of their spine. We want that phone to be on the left hand side and bring it in close. We like a headset because anything that you do with your neck is ultimately going to affect your low back. And we want to bring the mouse in close so that your elbow is resting at your side and that's comfortable. We want the monitor to be elevated enough so that it's arm's length away and eye level. And that should feel pretty good, Sarah, with that support yes. all yeah, in a good place. These exercises have come from over 20 years of experience and treating hundreds of thousands of low back pain patients. And it's five minutes of your day that can make a huge impact on how great you feel and just how empowered you feel that you can take care of yourself in this simple way. I mean, this is gonna change back care like brushing our teeth and flossing has, has done to save our teeth. I'm trying to save America's spine.